I'm Matt Kenny, and here's some Canadian news. I know it can be hard to understand what the politicians are really saying, so I'm here to translate it for you. Catherine Grakowski with Alberta Today. Um, so you described these uh, environmental organizations as being well-funded, but at the same time, 54 million compared to the multiple billions in PR, uh, it seems like it's more of a David and Goliath story. At the same time, I'm looking through this report and it says the Canadian Energy Centre, the attempt to tell Alberta's story, it, um, uh, it is, quote, uh, it may well be that the reputation of this entity is damaged beyond repair. It says that the Crown Corporation is seriously compromised by having provincial cabinet ministers sit on the board. So. How has this fight back strategy actually helped? It looks like there's a lot of harm. And second question, how will you be changing tactics as a result of the findings in this report? Okay, I guess there's a lot of questions there. The first one was goes back to the uh, the confusing numbers and trying to understand. And as I said, yes, they, they are confusing. A great deal of time needs to be spent to understand it. But that number of 54 million does not even touch the tip of the iceberg of the funds that were coming in. Um, that was funds and, and money that was specifically worded, blatantly worded to, to be targeting Alberta's oil and gas development. Hundreds of millions of dollars came, came, came in and across the, the border to target marine, marine planning, conservation initiatives, public relations, and it addresses what that, uh, these concerns about uh, the difficulty tracing and tracking the money address the number one recommendation from the report, report that we need accountability, transparency, we need disclosure. And uh, so I think that, that attracts it. With, with respect to the uh, Canadian Energy Centre, well, it's, it's transitioned now beyond its early days when there was a lot of concerns raised. And it's been doing some really good research and advocacy as of late. It's published a number of very detailed, good, significant research. And their latest campaign in New York City uh, has reached over 12 million people. That's the uh, campaign to talk about friendly energy, Canadian energy, cleaner, closer, committed to net zero. The Canadian Energy Centre is being is aligned with ESG initiatives to get that message out. And we'll continue to work with it to, to make sure it builds upon these recent successes. And I think one of the things that we can take away from the report, I think your third question was about what we can do with those findings, is to learn from their tactics. What the report said is that the environmental organizations were collaborative. They worked extremely close with each other. They understood their strengths and weaknesses. They understood who did best and they collaborated. Whereas the, the pro-resource, uh, whether it's industry associations, think tanks, companies, uh, they worked in silos and they, they often competed. Well, that's, that's uh, the remaining, uh, many of the remaining uh, recommendations in the commissioner's report address that and address how can we get the uh, pro-energy groups to work more collaboratively. And I think there's a role in the Canadian Energy Centre to use their research and their, their, uh, their research and their ability to have traditional ad campaigns and reach targets and markets in New York City to work with those groups so that they all are deploying their best skills and they can, they can work collaboratively. And I'm committed to, to, uh, to doing more in that area and making sure that we can learn a little bit from the playbook of the Angos. They've, they had executed their strategy brilliantly. We can do the same to protect our energy resources of the future. Well, the fight back strategy isn't working, so I'm gonna get defensive and fight back about it. I'm confused, so you must be confused too. I was confused by the numbers. The numbers, Mason! The numbers are confusing! And thanks to the expensive report, the CEC has some great research to help with their marketing strategy! We plan on stealing ideas we learn from studying environmental campaigns!